What's up everyone? This is Naina here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about steps that will help you lead a zero waste life but absolutely free. So these are not things that you need to buy for going zero waste or anything. These are just simple steps that you can take in your everyday life which will help you live a more sustainable life. So let's find out what these steps are. For most of us, rice is a staple product in our homes and we cook rice almost every day or so. And before we cook the rice, we usually have the habit of soaking the rice in water. But did you know that the water after it's been soaked in with rice can be very useful to you in many ways? You can either use that water to water your plants because it's quite starchy at that point and that starch can be very useful for your plants or you can even use that starchy water as your conditioner on your hair. It's very useful, it can leave your hair feeling really shiny. So the next time, make sure that you don't throw away that starchy rice water and instead make good use of it. So the next thing that you can do is to repurpose your printout. So we all have a lot of printouts that come in in the form of flyers, in the form of uh, uh, things that we may need to print out like tickets we may have printed out and stuff like that we have a lot of printouts in our homes and instead of just throwing it away just as such we can either reuse that same paper for more printouts in the future the other side of the printout you can use it for printing other stuff or you can just collect it to write down things uh, making lists for your grocery shopping or anything else that you may need to write down you don't need to use any other new paper for that you can just use that the other side of your printouts to write down things whenever you need to so that's a great way of making sure that you are making complete use of that piece of paper before you give it for recycling most of us have the habit of putting our clothes to wash in the washing machine in hot cycles we put it at 60 degrees celsius or sometimes even more but did you know that it's more electricity saving if you actually put your clothes for a cold wash without any temperature at all because there is a lot of electricity that is needed to rise the temperature of the water to the uh, one that you've chosen and that is a lot of waste of energy so instead if you just put it in cold cycle there is no extra energy required and also it can be actually good for your clothes or may I just say even better for your clothes so unless your clothes have been specifically said to be washed in a certain temperature it is always better to wash it in a cold cycle so maybe try doing this the next time and you will see that there is no difference in the cleanliness when it comes to doing it in a cold cycle so dry shampoo is something that has become very popular these days it's something that we use to make sure uh, that our hair doesn't look too oily in between wash days and the thing is that it's actually very very easy to make it at home instead of buying it from the market because it can be made easily using things that you already have in your home so I have a very 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 old or rather ancient video on how to make your own dry shampoo at home so if you are somebody who wants to try and make it for yourself at home because it's completely made from things that I'm sure that you already have lying around in your house so make sure to go check out that video and this will make sure that you always have dry shampoo at home and you don't have to go and get one of those plastic packaged dry shampoos for yourself ever again so the next step is something each of us should be doing because it is something to do with our mobile phones so make sure to keep your screen locked period time before which your screen automatically gets locked to 15 seconds or maximum of 30 seconds because that will make sure that you save a lot of your battery life for sure because sometimes we keep it for few minutes before it gets locked and even when you're not using your phone it will take up that much energy to keep it on for that long even without any use so making sure that you keep your screen lock time between 15 to 30 seconds will make sure that you are saving up 
all that battery power and it will make sure that your battery power is also lasting longer than it usually might. It's something very simple and something all of us can do. So make sure that you do it. So a lot of us have bed sheets or pillow covers or even mattresses that may have holes in them that we can't really donate to like charity because it's not in a great condition to do so. But instead of just throwing it away in such cases, the best thing would be to enquire with your local pet shelter, animal shelter. So over there, they are usually in dire need of these kind of mattresses or even bed sheets for using for their shelter animals. They will happily take it from you for bedding of their animals or even for cleaning after their animals. So in case you have any of these mattresses or stuff with any kind of holes or so in them, make sure to donate it to an animal shelter instead of just throwing it away. So we all frequently have a lot of vegetables going bad in case we don't use it on time. But just as it's about to go bad, the best way of using it, if you can't use it for like say any curry or so as such, is to make a soup out of it. Almost all vegetables can be used to make soups and you can just throw everything together to make soups and it would taste delicious by just mixing them together, putting some salt and pepper and it will turn out good. So if you have vegetables that's not good enough or it's gotten slightly rotten but it's not gone completely bad yet then make sure that you make actual soups with them because most of them can be used to make soups and you will be saving those vegetables from ending in your compost bin or even a land. So those were seven steps to help you lead a more sustainable life for free. So if you did enjoy this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up because then I will have more videos with more further steps to help you lead a zero waste life for free. So your likes are going to help me understand how much you enjoy this video and to help me make more further videos on the same topic. So if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And so I will see you in the next video. So until then, bye bye.